Hello guys, welcome to the channel. I hope you all are fine and doing great. Today we are going to discuss this IPL 2021 match day 2 problem of GFG. So let's move on to the problem guys. Uh, so, okay guys. so here we are given a problem statement which means we are given an array of an element where the array i will represent me the ith the score of ith player and i have to find out the maximum score by ith player in range is equal to k okay so we can in other words we can say this is a maximum subarray type problem where we have to find out the the maximum value in a subarray of size 3 like from 1 to 3 maximum is 3 from 2 3 1 maximum is 3 from 3 1 4 maximum is 4 1 4 5 maximum is 5 4 5 2 maximum is 5 5 2 3 maximum is 5 then 2 3 6 maximum is 6 so this is our answer okay these all are sub array so basically we need to find out the maximum sub array the maximum of a sub array of size k in my this particular array okay guys, so how we will solve it okay guys so I, I am gonna tell you the interview approach because this problem can be solved using priority queue and using dq so I am gonna to see you all tell you all the dq approach and this is a very important interview problem as well guys you can found it in on many sets love upper seat uh, striver seat this is just this change the statement but the basic need what we need to do is maximum subarray type problem so i am taken dq and taken answer will store my answer uh, means the answer for ith subarray now guys basic thing i know i uh, can I, uh, I know before starting that if I have to find out a subarray of size k then the first index where I uh, where I can say this is the end of my first subarray with index k minus 1 a the index k minus 1 like here I have to find out the subarray with size 3 then first subarray will be this first three character okay and the index of this character is i minus 2 so, uh, so I can say if the ith index if the current index is greater than or is equal to k minus 1 then I need to store the maximum of uh, the maximum of particular subarray of this current subarray because now we have a subarray okay I, I will tell you what I want to say like here uh, initially we don't have any character uh, any element so I will push back one in my queue one in my queue I am pushing in question I am I am gonna to push back index so here also I will put push back index also okay guys this is maybe sometime you find hard to understand but if you dry run it then this will become very simple now we are at here index is zero one just a minute give me a minute two three four five six seven and eight okay guys these are the index now we are pushed back zero now when we are coming now zero is greater than equal to k minus one no so we don't need to include it in our answer means at this point we don't have a sub array of size k so we don't need to anything to include in my answer now we are at two so we will look if d from back we are we can access uh, dq from back or from front so we are going to access it from back and from back it will store okay so what is my dq store dq will store in our range the maximum index like it will store 4 5 um, like 5 2 3 like these are the index then it means v5 i am just giving you the example like what i have suppose it is 1 so v1 the value of v1 is greater than v2 and the current value is greater than v3 okay guys now suppose if i have to insert uh, i have to insert index 4 and index 4 have value greater than 3 so we we have to find out maximum so we don't need, need 3 or suppose if the value of its is greater than index 2 as well so we don't need 2 so we will 4 so our dq will look like 1 and 4 only where it means v1 will greater than v4 okay the value of v1 should be greater than v4 v means arr here arr means generally means array v means vector okay guys so i am at here is v0 uh, arr0 i am calling it v so v0 greater than uh, greater than 2 means 1 greater than 2 no it is false 2 greater than so we will remove it now we don't have any number any number left so we will insert this two index that is one in my dq now we are at 2 similarly and for 1 we don't need to anything include anything in my answer we will push back this one now at 3 at 3 we have any element I am just copying the code as well
okay guys so now now call we are at index 3 we are at index 3 now for 3 we are doing while my dq is not empty and we did it back means from this side the alec the vi is greater than or equal to v t dot back then i will pop back this means i will start to pop out the back character okay till my dq have some element and its value is less than my current v so it is v1 is 2 and current vi is 3 so we will pop out this okay now uh, this statement will not work because dq is empty because d is empty so we will at last we will push back 3 that is index 2 in my dq now we can see if my k is greater than is equal to k minus 1 k k uh, i is 2 so i is greater than is equal to 3 minus 1 that is i uh, 2 greater than equal to 2 so yes possible now uh, it is uh, correct statement so i will push back means now at is index i will found a sub array of size k okay so i will push back v d dot front means v of index 2 that is 3 3 in my answer now guys i am at 1 now at 1 i will check why i i my dq is not empty and vd means v2 that is 3 uh, less than or is equal to 1 it is uh, it, it is false statement because 3 is greater than 1 so this value will not gonna to work this time now in next statement we are going to work now why is this next statement guys this next statement suppose we have array like 4 1 1 1 and i have k is equal to 2 means i can take only two range then my dq will be like 0 and 1 after this much query and k is equal to 2 so i will push back v0 v0 that is 4 in my answer now for this one we can see for this particular one for this particular one this is index 0 1 and 2 for this particular one we can see from back v1 greater than uh, less than is equal to 2 yes so we will pop out this v0 v0 less than is equal to 1 no it is not so v0 will still be in my queue but can i include 0 in my answer no because a sub array ending at 2 can can be uh, can not able to take 4 in my answer why because i have only length is equal to 2 so the maximum index it will be like maximum index it has from i to i minus k i to i minus k so what is uh, i minus k what is i i is 2 here i is 2 uh, uh, greater than i minus k i minus k plus 1 you can say i minus because 0 base indexing i minus k so i is 2 2 comma 2 minus 2 that uh, 2 minus 2 0 plus 1 so 1 means the minimum index should be 1 the maximum should be 2 so all the all the number till index i minus k i will remove them from my dq over it is i minus k 0 so all the index from uh, till index 0 i will remove it so i will check is my dq 0 is uh, is my dq front less than is equal to 0 yes it is so i will remove it so now my dq is empty so i will push back 2 means current index in my answer and i will include v uh, v t dot front v2 that is 1 in my answer in uh, first time it may be look hectic but when you are dry run this in copy uh, and pen and paper then you will found it very simple and easy approach and you will never gonna to forget if you are dry run this approach this is very important interview related problem guys i am again telling you so now we are at one so we can see one greater than three yes it is so we will our while loop will break now for second while loop we will check what is i minus k what is i, I is four uh, sorry uh, yes we are at 3 i is 3 so 3 minus 3 that is 0 so 2 is uh, less than is equal to 0 no force so second by loop will not gonna to work and i will push back 3 in my answer i will push back 3 in my answer and till because my i is greater than is equal to k minus 1 i will push back vd dot front means v3 in my answer okay guys now so we are at v4 this time I'm gonna change the color this time. I, I now I am at this. Now guys, from back we are again starting. V3, V3 less than is equal to V4. Means V3 that is one less than four. Yes, it is. We will pop out this. V2, V2 less than is equal to four. Yes, it is. Three less than four. So now DQ is empty. Again DQ is empty. So both while loop will stop, and I will go now to push back four in my DQ. Now, because i is greater than is equal to, so I will insert uh, arr t dot front that is 4, so 4 will be insert in my answer. 
yes till now i am correct now i am at next loop i am at 5 now now i am at 5 now for 5 is my arr 4 greater than 5 arr 4 greater than 5 4 greater than 5 no, uh, no. sorry sorry yes less than is equal to 4 less than is equal to 5 yes it is so we will pop out this dq is empty again so we will just insert 5 we will just in insert 5 okay guys now suppose instead of 6 we have 0 instead of 6 we have 0 okay guys else why we will not gonna to understand this second loop statement suppose we have 0 here I am taking thick marker to make 0 here suppose it is 2 3 0 at the end now we are at till index 5 we have covered now we are at index 2 uh, means index 6 now suppose we are at index this now 2 v, what is v5 v5 is 2 v5 less than is equal to 2 no it is not so it will not pop out this while loop complete now d dot empty v dot front 5 less than is equal to i minus k 6 minus 3 that is 3 no it is not 5 uh, is not less than 3 so the second loop will not gonna to work so i will insert 6 in my answer so, uh, 6 in my dq and i will insert v5 because front uh, we have two character but front one is 5 so we will insert here are 5 that is 5 in my answer 345 yes till now we are correct now guys okay we are at 3 now at now we are at 3 now what is v6 v6 is 2 2 less than is equal to 3 yes it is so we will pop out this v5 v5 is 5 less than is equal to 3 no it is not so while loop complete now again d do what is i minus k i is 7 7 minus 3 is equal to 4 so is 5 less than is equal to 4 no it is not so it will not gonna to work this while loop and i will push back i that is 7 in my answer and again we will insert answer that is arr 5 that is 5 in my answer now guys i am at last index that is 0 now what is some 3 uh, less than is equal to 0 no it is not 3 less than is equal to 0 no it is not so uh, while loop complete now second now 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 so till is 5 less than is equal to 5 yes it is so we need to remove it you can see at v5 we have 5 but in this sub array ending at here the maximum index i can have is i minus k plus 1 so all the index till i minus k all the index till i minus k i need to remove because the minimum index or the index i should need for a sub array of size k that ends at index 8 is i minus k that is uh, 5 plus 1 that is 6 so a sub array of length 8 will end at 6 uh, and at 8 if it is starting from 6 so all the all the characters in my dq till index i minus k means i 8 minus 3 that is 5 i will remove it so i will remove 5 now i have only left with 7 i only left with 7 i will okay this is complete now this 7 less than is equal to 5 no it is not so i will insert 8 in my dq so now and with d dot front that is v7 that is 3 will be in my answer so here you can see the maximum of 2 3 and 0 is 3 so 3 is coming in my answer so from left side we are removing the minimum element like if my current element is 5 and i have entered 1 2 1 this kind of element so i will remove this element because now i already have a, num a number a batsman that have scored more run than 1 2 and 1 okay guys and from beginning i am removing the character that cannot belong to my sub array okay here we can see 5 is maximum but it cannot belong to sub array and set 0 so i need to remove it and at last I will left out with 334553 that is going to my answer. Okay, guys, so here this is the approach. Till my DQ have some character and my back character is less than is equal to VI, I need to pop out. And this is for maintaining the maximum, this is for maintaining the range. Okay, this is maintaining the maximum, this is maintaining the range this one is maintaining the range okay guys and this one push back this current ith element because it can be possible like uh, like why i am push back it you can see like for six if we have element like six seven and one then i don't need this one anymore because we have already greater element okay so why we are push back this element but suppose 
we have some zero after it. Suppose we have zero after it. Then for these zero, for in this sub array, this is the maximum. Suppose if sub array is of length four, uh, then for this sub array, it, this one is my maximum. Okay, so for each element, I need to include in my answer. Okay, we can exclude it. Like suppose if here, suppose if here eight will come, then we can see one is less than equal to x, so we can pop out it. But we need to include it. Okay, guys, so complexity will be. Okay, guys, so here we can see all that 72 test cases pass out. Okay, guys. So and here complexity is as well O and complexity is given to us. What I need to say? No, no complexity given. Okay, so this is O and complexity. Why? Because for each no 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 because for each particular character I am pushed back this in my DQ at least once and I am removing it from my DQ at least once. Okay, guys. And the push and pop operation in my DQ is O1. So my total complexity is O n plus n means n character uh, pop out from my DQ and an element push back in my DQ. So the time complexity will be remains n push operation plus n uh, pop operations. Okay, guys. So total time complexity will be O n plus n that is O n. Okay, guys. At last we will return answer. I explain the code. So I am just submitting. Oh, I had already submitted. So guys, I hope you understand the approach. If you have any doubt, then just comment out. I will try my best to explain you. Please subscribe the channel, like the video and check out my channel for more this type of videos. I daily upload the GFG program of the dissolution. So please subscribe the channel and check out my channel for more this type of videos. Thank you for watching this guys. Stay tuned.